Cardiac output is the measurement of the volume of blood that is pumped by the heart per minute. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, cardiac output refers to the volume of blood that is pumped from the left ventricle in the heart. It can easily be calculated by multiplying the patient's heart rate by their stroke volume. Heart rate refers to the number of heartbeats per minute, and stroke volume refers to the volume of blood that is pumped per heartbeat. Again, the product of these two gives you the patient's cardiac output in the value of liters per minute. The cardiac output normal value range in healthy adults is 4 to 8 liters per minute. If there is a change in heart rate or stroke volume, this would affect the cardiac output. For example, some factors that could affect heart rate include age, fitness level, hormones, and oxygenation status. Some factors that could affect stroke volume include heart size, fitness level, gender, contractility, and the duration of contraction. The organs and tissues of the human body rely on oxygen for normal functionality. Cardiac output is related to the amount of blood that is available during perfusion, which is the process where arterial blood pumps through the lungs to pick up oxygen molecules for transport. Therefore, if cardiac output is lacking, less blood is available for perfusion, which means that the body tissues may not get as much oxygen as they need. Again. For this video, we just wanted to provide you with a brief overview of this topic. We'll be breaking it down into much more detail in a separate video. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.